Well, hi, uh, my name is Michelle Lumeno, and I teach the x-ray program at night, and then I also teach a Friday morning class. I think it's the ability for them to get started in a short period of time, you know, learn a skill in a short period of time and then actually be employed, you know, sometimes even before they graduate. So I have a lot of students that have been employed even before graduating. They do go through a clinical um, internship for 90 days. And a lot of times, you know, the, they, if they perform really well, you know, the, they do get hired directly from the clinic. I've had students that actually drive all the way from San Diego to here and then I have students that came from Indio and Hemet and you know Menifee they do drive because this is I believe the only company the only school that offers this program the MA x-ray program is an 11 month program they will finish with an MA certificate and the XT certificate so they start with the MA for about three months after the MA program, they cross over to XT, which is the X-ray department, which I'm one of the instructors at. It's easier for me to share my knowledge. I just feel like it's better for the students to learn if we're doing it hands-on, you know, physical, you know, teaching. I use the, you know, the, the phantom and, I uh, show them the x-ray films and, you know, the x-ray uh, digital images that we have. In my experience as a radiographer, you know, it's, and we, we've had online classes. Um, however, I really honestly did not feel it was convenient because, you know, there's no way you can learn the positions and, you know, the techniques, you know, the, how the machine works online right so it is really better to be in campus and actually do it you know with the phantoms and you know work with your classmates and to do the positions that you know you need to learn I am a very hands-on instructor so I do make my students do it themselves because that's the best way to learn is to get your hands dirty and you know do it yourself so I do make them do that and then obviously you know I guide them and teach them the right way well it is a little bit more private one-on-one -on -one can provide more attention to the students you know obviously they can get help easier that way we do have smaller classes, like three to five. Those are smaller classes. And right now I do have like more than five, I have seven. And my other class, I have eight. So those are a little bit larger. We don't want to cramp them up in one room and, you know, the x-ray rooms because that lessens my attention for them, you know, so giving them that time. So the bigger it is, the less uh, time we could, you know, accommodate them in learning, uh, you know, the techniques and the positions, etc. Well, you just become more valuable, you know, with two certifications, with the limited XT program and the MA program together, graduating with the, those two certificates, you become much more valuable in the clinics, in the work field. Well, they do kind of uh, expect it because if you do have the MA assistance program, medical assisting program certificate and your XD program certificate, uh, you do get hired faster. You have uh, a higher chance of getting hired because you know you have two certifications and that gives you the higher edge. Well, it's very convenient. I mean, it'll take 30 to 60 days for just you alone looking for their clinics because there's a lot of paperwork that is part of it and it takes a long time and our clinic associated with the school makes it very uh, convenient for the students because then they don't even have to think about that all all they have to do is come in and learn and you know get ready for the clinicals they are concerned about um clinicals and um internship they get 
nervous at thinking about it like oh you know what what if i can't do this what if i can't do that and you know i just tell them like look this is why i'm here what i'm here for i'm here to guide you and show you how to do it so that when you go to clinic you're already set and you will know what you need to do so the first day actually the first day the first week you know it's just like anything they do have an orientation you know you get to uh, meet the doctors and who you're working with and all that the first week they will be shadowing the technicians that are there to get familiar with their protocols and then uh, the second week you know they start to do uh, the exams on their own and of course you know with the help of the technicians or the radiographers that are there if in case they need help so they're not alone a lot of our students are you know single parents a lot of them are fresh from high school really and some of them are like switching careers so they still have to maintain a job during the day so we accommodate that and so they do that during the day and so that's why they come to the night classes so in our night classes are between 6 and 10 monday through thursday for with the ma and then when you cross over to the x-ray department you go tuesday wednesdays and thursdays yes we do actually help with the students we have several programs and we do have somebody that helps our potential students get into the program using financial aid Textbooks and scrubs and uh, parking are included in the program. We have film screen combo, which the state actually requires it. And so that's why we teach them. We teach them the basics. So, you know, those are just the basic um, information on manual processing and you know, film screen combo. Now, when they do get out in the clinics, they are working with digital processors. So, you know, it makes it a lot easier really for them. So it's just a requirement from the state and they learn both, you know, manual and then step up into the digital technology. Several, uh, so they can work in the medical offices, orthopedic doctors, uh, orthopedic clinics. They can work in uh, imaging facilities, Kaiser too. They do hire medical assistants there, and we have several students that came from here that are working at those places. Job placement. Yes, we have somebody in our administration department that helps the students find a job. So they do get that assistance as well. They do finish as a limited XT. And then um, if they want to proceed and take their full RT, there is a school in East LA that has that program. So they take XT students that wants to proceed to a full RT. So they can take that program. It's very reasonable. Okay, that's one program. It's a day class. And then uh, there's an online program taking XTs uh, to become a full RT. I was just talking to my students about that and they said that one of the schools was taking four to five years to get into the program so that's a long time to wait the other colleges are taking two to three years that's with a very very limited acceptance i like photography <laughs> my friend was a radiology technologist and i had no clue what it was and then he talked to me about it i'm like that's kind of like photography, I'll give it a shot. And so I started the program and then, you know, I actually excelled in the program. So that's what drew me in. Then I moved here, this was in 1994. And then I took a whole year to self-study and then I sit in and uh, challenge the state exam. As a, you know, as a full RT, you have several avenues that you can tap into. So, you know, I was a full RT and I was doing general diagnostics and I went into interventional radiography, you know, and then I actually got to travel. I took um, traveling assignments, which was great, you know, so learning from different states, learning from different hospitals was an awesome, you know, ex work experience for me. And then 2011 came, I thought, you know, I'd like to do something different. And this is why I tapped into, you know, teaching. I'm like, let me see what I can do teaching. And 
And sure enough, I, I feel like this is my calling though, <laughs> because I love teaching. I enjoy it. You know, it doesn't feel like I'm working, but I'm sharing knowledge, which is, you know, I love it. And it's, um, it feels rewarding to me. How I got started in uh, MTS. I am a full RT. I got licensed in 1998. I started working in 1999. And my first job was just doing chest x-rays all day long. <laughs> that was my first job traveling across the Pacific area. And I was friends with one of the clinical instructors before. And then he showed me around, that was uh, in early 2000. He showed me around when they were still in Anaheim. So I turned in my application at that time. There weren't any open positions yet for an instructor. And then in 2011, I saw that posting again and I applied. You know, I got, uh, I was interviewed on a Wednesday and then she hired me that Friday. So I started teaching since then, 2011. And uh, I never thought I would be able to do it, but here I am 10 years later and I love it and I enjoy it. Very rewarding to me, really. You know, I like it when they send me a text <laughs> after they, they pass their finals or they pass their state exams. They're like, thank you so much for your help, Missy. You know, this is fantastic. Now I'm working. You know, that's, that's really rewarding to me. It makes me smile. Like, you know, I know I was a part of that success.